was talking about the tongue, said it's a small member, uh, but, but, but it, it, it just, the whole body is turned by it. Talks about the big ships. The whole ships is turned by a little old rudder back here. As big as the big ship may be, just this little rudder will start turning that thing. You turn it and it just starts turning little by little. The ship will start turning around. And so when you start talking different, you just start talking different, you're turning the wheel. And it's going to help you go in the direction that you want to go. But if you talk death, you cannot get there. It just won't happen. So what do you do? You want to go that way? Turn the wheel. You want to go that way? Turn the wheel. By what you say. By what you say. You know what? Um, if, I was, if I was trying to quit smoking... I don't smoke, but if I was trying to quit smoking, I'd say, I'd say, Lord, I thank you that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I'd begin. I'd begin to start talking that way, say, well, it might not happen right now, but you know what I'm doing? I'm turning. Turning the wheel. I'm going that way. Well, Lord, I seem like I'm a little weak in this area, so I'm going to depend on you for some strength. Now, you said you'd strengthen me. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, I'm going to receive some strength right now. What are you doing? You're turning. Your whole body now is starting to turn. It's going to start turning to the direction that you want to go. And the first thing you know it, you're going to be delivered from that. Supernaturally, if it takes it, it don't matter what, or you'll just get strength to do it. One way or the other. When it's over, you're heading down the road that you want to be on. Now, like I said, you, or you could say, well, I know I don't need to put, put this in my body and I don't need to be damaging my lungs and so forth, but I can't quit. Well, then you're going to have to go down the same road you're going on. You'll never turn. Now, don't be talking death. Start talking life. I am who you say that I am, Lord. I, I have what you say that I have. What do I have? Well, I have the Word of God. I have the Holy Ghost in me that will help me, guides me, guiding me into all truth, strengthening me. Amen. That's what's going on. Now, if you begin to talk, like I said, if you begin to talk God's Word, you'll start impacting tomorrow. God will, God will, it will cause things to start coming to you. Whether it's money or whether it's provision in, in whatever, spirit, soul, body, all of it, the whole thing. It will start causing stuff to come. You'll find your life will, more each day will be blessed. More and more and more. And you'll start being satisfied because of the fruit of your mouth. Because you're speaking God's word. Amen. See, people ain't being taught this. They just want to feel a little something and hoop ha and, and glory to God and run out the door and run right out back out in the world and do the same old thing they've been doing all the time. And and you're not you're not you're not you're not turning. Your life isn't taking a turn to for the God I'm talking about. So if you, if you want the blessing of God to come, then start saying and doing what God says to do. Start believing it. Make up your uh, mind. And, and, and if you have to, get stern about it. And if you have to, get stubborn about it. And say, I'm just going to believe what God said now. I don't care what my preacher says. I don't care what my church says. I'm going to believe what God said now, folks. This is too important to me. I can't go around uh, wasting my time believing something that is not so and not true, not the will of God. So if I have to get stir stern or if I have to just put my foot down and kind of dig my heels in a little bit, no, I'm not going to accept that now. I'm going to believe what God said. God's on my side. I am in the family of God. I am a child of God. And this is what His Word has said to me. Amen.
I said, Amen. Praise God. Well, Andrew, Andrew Womack said one time, he was talking to a, a lady that was involved in a denominational church, and he got to talking to her. You know, it's having a pretty good conversation. <laughs> and he got over into the Holy Ghost. He's talking about the Holy Ghost and speaking with tongues and so forth. And she said, oh, said, said we don't believe that. He said, well, you know, well, it's in the Bible, you know. Here, I'll show it to you. And he's talking about, he's, she said, oh, there's all kinds of things in there we don't believe. And he said, what am I supposed to say now? Yeah. This conversation is over. Yeah. You just going to make up your mind that you believe whatever that you want to believe. Yeah. And don't you think people don't have that mindset? Oh, there's lots of things in there we don't believe. If they'd be honest, they'd have to say it. Oh, wow, there's lots of things in there we don't believe. A child of God can't do that. 